Hi guys, it's your girl Love in the City here. I'm not on camera today because this is going to be a super short, I'm going to try to make it super short video. I just want to share with you guys these lovely makeup brushes I got. And I thought they were unique because, yeah, I'm going to get makeup all over them, but I thought they were cool to have the white handle and then you have the white on the end of the brushes. And these brushes are kabuki brushes and um, they're white with rose gold on it. I'm not sure if the camera is panning off. It looks like it is. Okay, I what I did was um, I ordered two sets. So these are two of the same sets. I'm only going to open one set. But, you know, I'm going to be placing them here in my little um, thing that I've created this with the sand to hold my brushes. I'm thinking about changing that sand. Oh, I'm going to be looking for some white sand. So, yeah, I'm going to probably take that black out. But for the time being, it's going to have to do. Okay. Now, the name of the brush, uh, the uh, seller um, that I got these brushes from, which are on Amazon, are called, I believe it's D DSC Beauty. But I'll make sure I put the correct name in the description bar below. But yeah, I do believe this is, uh, I peeled the thing off, I believe it's DSC Beauty. Okay. Let's begin. Let's just take all of these out, okay. Came packaged pretty well. All right, but I got rid of my Amazon box because I made a big purchase, y'all. I made I ordered a lot of stuff, but yeah, let's just see what we got here. They have no names on them, of course, but I know what I'll be using the brushes for, and they have it packaged pretty well. Like I said, oh my God, this is so. Deep and soft. I'm talking about softer than a baby's butt. Do you hear me? Oh my God, that's going to feel so good on my face. If that feels good on my hand and it feels light. And look at that. Look how that just buffs. Can't wait to do my next makeup look with these. And like I said, these are the same because I have to have multiples. Say, for instance, I could use this for my press. Uh, powder or loose powder uh, foundation for that and this one here I could possibly use as just like a buffer just to get some of the excess off because I don't have the fan one they don't have the fan one isn't that awesome or better yet I could just use this this could be a blush I take that back this could be a blush but see that's why I got two <laughs> I got one for dusting something off and the one I could actually use to do my blush. Okay. This is for the big stuff. For the big powder. The loose powder on your face. Let's see what else we got here. I'm not going to go through every single brush because then that's going to make my video long. But let me see. I'm just going to pick out some that are very uh, probably important. Like that eyeshadow one. And of course the contour one. Yeah, let's just take these out. Let you look at them. I'm putting all this stuff to the side. And yeah, um, this is going to be great. This, see, like I said, the reason why I have two, say for instance, like this contour brush. You see this contour brush? Okay, I have one for my dark contour, and then I'll, I'll have the other one to do my... Um, my highlight because I have one that's in the circular pan and uh, it's a highlight and so I'll have one for my highlight right above my contouring which is perfect now my other brushes I had before were like slightly bigger but I think I'm gonna like these little compact size ones because it's gonna get right in the nook and crannies of the face look at this this is probably f I'll use this for applying uh, concealer under my eye because it's nice and pointy and get it all down in there good look at that this is a contoured brush as well this could be used for putting on highlighters as well so I, I could just I have endless options as to what I want to do okay and I showed you these two yeah and then here's one this uh oh Tom thumbs here this could be used 
right here this one I would use because it's rounded when I uh, put my uh, uh, primer on my eyes and then I go and put a little banana powder on it to set that primer on my eyes then yeah because this is going to get right in that eye socket very very well it's not big like that other one so yeah that's why I like these brushes because the other ones were like a half a size bigger than what this one was okay all right and then let's see what else we got these last two and then I'll just hold the others up so you can see what they were but I'm gonna take the paper off of these okay now this is the uh, what you call it the, the angled um, brow brush to, for you for your brow pomades. That's gonna be perfect. And then of course here it is for blending or putting on eyeshadow. So I got all of these and there's 15 pieces. In case I didn't mention it, yes, yeah, a 15 piece set. And I telling you, I, they were super duper cheap. I was going to go with another seller who wanted like, I think 15 or 18 bucks, but I paid less than 15 bucks. Less than 15 bucks for 15 brushes. And the brushes are Kabuki and they're all soft. So here's some other eyeshadow brushes, eyeliner brush for blending. I use this for blending eyeliners. And uh, yeah, there's another blending brush and then there's your spoolie. There's another eyeshadow brush. You're getting those little tight corners in the corners of the eye. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to end it here. And I hope you guys liked everything that I showed you here. And go and check you out some brushes on Amazon. I just basically, I just typed in white makeup brushes because I was looking for white makeup brushes. But, yeah, I, I do believe that. I know the seller is D, DSC Beauty. And, uh, yeah, get you some brushes. Holler at me if you do. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.